Whether you're taking a Caribbean cruise, a transatlantic cruise, or a European cruise like I did, I will share with you my honest review of Norwegian's cruise ship Epic. Y'all are gonna have such a great time on your Norwegian Cruise Line epic cruise ship. Just wait. I am giving you my honest review of the rooms, the cabins, the ship layout, the excursions that you're going on, the pool area, uh, your um, dining options on board the epic cruise ship. So pop in with me and let's get started. <clears throat> Norwegian Cruise Line totally renovated their epic cruise ship and we love what they have done. They've put in new carpet right when you walk into the room. It has a curved wall. It has curved cabinets. The sofa is curved. It is just beautiful. The bed for two people is plenty big enough. We had two pillows and one was firm and one was softer. The mattresses were amazing. We slept so well on our cruise ship. <laughs> And we really, really like the curvy wall. They made it so that it looks like a wave, okay? You've got the, the whole wave thing. We adore these rooms. There was plenty of storage for two people, even three people. I think if you put four people in this room, it would be too, too crowded. We honestly love that they have separated the sink, the shower, and the toilet. When you're done with the shower, you can get out and close the curved door and you don't have the humidity all in the bathroom while you're trying to curl your hair or brush your teeth or whatever. And the toilet area is, it just seems more spacious. The shower seems bigger. The toilet room seems bigger. It also has a curved door to go with the curved wall right as you enter. The sink has plenty of space for you to put your medicine cabinet items and my drawer that I put my makeup in, most of my makeup in, it was plenty deep enough. It was like this, this deep, that's super deep and it's really, really long. And then underneath the sink, they have this big, almost like cooler type thing, but it's not a cooler, it's just white plastic. And that's where we kept our water bottles. We bought them, we bought the water package where they were delivered to our room. There were 12 one liter bottles and we had to buy an additional six more uh, for us and my mom and son. They were in another room. So we had, we had gotten two different cabins on board Norwegian's epic cruise ship. That is such a tongue twister. Once you walk past the sink, you've got a large, wide, kind of shallow closet, but you can fit, I, look how many I fit in there. And I pack in a carry-on suitcase for my seven day cruise and I will be making another video about this packing process for you in a week or two. I packed in my carry-on suitcase so I didn't have very much to hang up. I also used another drawer. There are three additional drawers and a whole other closet. I think this closet is more for men or women to hang up um, sports coats or something like that. I'm not sure why the bar is going vertically instead of horizontally. Um, the hair dryer that they give you in your cabin is amazing. I looked and looked and looked for the wattage and could not find it. My hair dried faster on a cruise ship in the Mediterranean than it does here in Texas. We love the little coffee station. I used one of the coffee cups to put my makeup brushes in, which I thought was adorable and creative. And they also provide ice for you every night in your ice bucket while you're off to dinner or, or in, at a show. My husband used these little wire racks underneath the cabinets. I mean, there's so much storage on this ship, y'all. He used that for his under, dirty underwear. And we also, you can see the mat in there. That's the mat that you lay out on the bed to pack and unpack for your suitcase to sit on. I did complain about this on my survey that Norwegian sent me, but I know it won't do any good. <laughs> But like all cruise ships, we've been on a Norwegian cruise ship, we have been on a Disney cruise ship, we've been on Carnival cruise ships. And like all cruise ships, there is only one outlet area with two regular plugs, American plug outlets. So I highly recommend getting this power strip. You'll see that it has two additional plugs. So you turn this down, plug it in one of the outlets, and then you have another outlet that's already on the cruise ship there. Then you've got these two outlets right here and two additional places to charge your phone. That's what took up most of our outlets. My husband was charging his phone on one outlet. I was charging my phone on another outlet. So we needed this. And what's amazing is they twist. 
So if you need the plug to twist that way, you can twist it. If you need it to twist that way, you can twist it that way. You will have plenty of outlets if you get this. Now I'm also going to make my what to not forget on a cruise ship vacation. I'm going to make a video and I'll put it up here in a week or two as well. But this is one of the things. But now I'm 5'8 and I really appreciated the space inside the shower of the bathroom in my cabin. It was probably another foot high before their shower head was there. So I appreciated the height in the hallways of the ship. I could touch the ceiling. You can see I can touch the ceiling. I didn't feel claustrophobic. And when you walk in a room, I highly recommend getting a balcony room. It wasn't that much more expensive than what we've paid with other cruise lines. But you walk in and the balcony gives you this entire wall of sliding glass doors and that gives you so much light and then the mirrors on the wall, you don't feel claustrophobic at all. My name is Laurie and I create YouTube videos about ideas that pop into my head. I do a lot of travel, home, makeup, fashion, organization idea videos, so pop into my channel anytime. Norwegian Cruise Line, like other ships, have an app that you can download to your phone before you take off or when you're at a dock. I highly recommend getting that. It is great because it gives you the main events that are happening. One con that we did not like is that it doesn't tell you the specifics. Like you have to refer to the little paper thing that can get wet if you take it to the, to the pool. You have to refer to that to see all the little events that are going on. And one of them was like, um, one of, they had a painting class where you paint on canvas. It was totally free in the middle of the ship, but I didn't know about it because I hadn't read over the paper the night before. And my mom would have loved to have done that. Um, so the app only gives you certain things. I guess that that would apply to every ship instead of more specified. We also did not like that there was no map on the app or in our stateroom. Like it would just be so much more helpful if they gave you a map so that you could really get a picture and for your kids to really get a picture of the layout of the ship. Now you can make reservations on your TV, which is the app, but in a bigger form with your remote control. You can make reservations for the dining areas and you can do that on your app. But I wanted to go back and see, oh, I forgot what time we're eating at Teppanyaki tomorrow. I couldn't find the time for my reservation. I could just make reservations. So then I had to go to the phone in my cabin and call to find out what time my reservations were. I did not like that. Norwegian Cruise Line has so many things, like other ships, have so many things for you to do during the day. But one of the ones that we did not do because my family is not game players was an escape room. You know, where you go and you work as a team to try and escape this room. I really wanted to do that, but um, that's okay. So Norwegian Cruise Line was the first to offer freestyle cruising. And freestyle cruising means you can eat whenever you want to at all of their free restaurants. Like you don't have to sit at the same table. You don't have to sit with the same people every time. So we mainly went to their garden cafe buffet, which is out on the top pool deck, but it wasn't the outdoor cafe that only has a few offerings. This thing went around from the middle of the ship all the way to the front of the ship and back around to the middle of the ship. It is huge. There are, I love the furniture on board this epic cruise ship too, by the way. And um, it's carpeted and it's tiled where all, where all the walkways are. It's just beautiful. All the floor to ceiling windows are beautiful. And y'all, the food is amazing. We were worried that if they offer restaurants that you can pay extra for once you get on the ship that those restaurants were going to have all the good food and they really did i'll tell you about those in a minute but all their free restaurants were just as fabulous we ate at the garden cafe we ate at oshi hands which is an irish pub atmosphere um, but not only irish food and it is open 24 hours the only thing is it's near the casino and that is the number one thing we did not like about norwegian's epic cruise ship you have to walk through the smoky remnants of smoke uh, casino just to get to this Oceans restaurant or to the midship where a lot of their cool and fun activities happen and shows happen. And that's also where several of the paid for uh, restaurants are. We did not like that. And 
I'm happy to say that Walter came around asking people while we were at Le Bistro, one of the restaurants that you pay for, it's French. He came around and asked us for our opinions and I did tell him that. And if you ever get asked your opinions on a cruise ship, tell them your opinions and you will get sent a little treat back to your room later. I also told him that the French onion soup that I had as my appetizer in Le, Le Bistro was the best French onion soup I've had. And I don't know if you know, but French onion soup is topped with Gruyere cheese. And I've been to Gruyere and had an amazing French onion soup. This one on board the Epic Cruise Ship was better. It was fantastic. Anyway, you do have to pay for them, but they are like $20 for a three course meal, up to $40 per person. Uh, we ordered this cruise line through Costco, which we highly recommend. We are very pleased with this. And they gave you an extra three nights of paid restaurants to choose from. And there are 20 restaurants on board. 10 of them are free, and then 10 of them you can choose to pay for. And they are worth every penny if I had to pay it. At the, they serve you in courses. The furniture is luxe and velvety and smooth and the views are breathtaking. It is, uh, we went to Teppanyaki, which is kind of like Benihana's restaurant. Fantastic, the most amusing and entertaining chefs for every table. Like we were looking around, like sometimes in Benihana you have a table and it's just a boring guy. It's not very entertaining. We've done that here in Texas. Uh, we've had that experience. But anyway, he was fantastic. He sang a song for every little thing that he was doing. So funny. Also, we went to Churrasco's where they, um, they carved the beef for you, all the meat for you, and it was top notch. Very, very nice. My husband and I went by ourselves to La Cucina, the Italian restaurant, and that is probably the most beautiful restaurant on board. We did not go to Cagney Steakhouse though. That was probably really pretty too. Um, but La Cucina on the Epic cruise ship takes up the whole entire front point of the cruise ship and they were floor to ceiling and the ceilings were like 15 or 20 foot high ceilings and they were all windows and we were eating right when we were taking off into the sunset. It was absolutely beautiful and worth every penny. We had an appetizer. We had a risotto or pasta as our second course. Then we had our salad as our third course. And then our fourth course was the meat. It was amazing. And like I said, worth every penny if I had to pay for that. <laughs> okay, at one of your ports, you might have to tender to the shore. And that means, or tender to the dock. That means it's too shallow for the cruise ship to get in there. So you have to take one of their emergency boats and which I really liked because you don't know if those emergency boats have been checked. They say they are, but anyway, now I know what it's like to be on one of their emergency cruise ships. They're air conditioned. They have little things at the top for rainwater to drip down in case you are, get, are stuck on this emergency little ship, little boat for a long time, but it holds, each boat holds almost 300 people. And you'll see that I can touch the ceiling. So it's like almost seven feet high all the way through that ship. There are lots of windows. I felt very, very safe on these uh, emergency little boats. But that's how you tender if you ride on, if you cruise with Norwegian. We were very happy with our luggage tags that we got. It's a piece of paper and you just fold it flat, cut along the dotted lines and you fold. The only thing is we flew from America to Barcelona, stayed there for a couple of days. So we don't need our cruise tag strips of paper on our suitcases then. So we were at a ho hotel in a foreign country. We had to ask them for a stapler and for scissors, that kind of thing. I, I wish it would have been easier, but it's okay. I love the way Disney does it. They send you the tags that you just, you just zip tag or whatever, zip line tag onto your suitcase, but that's a little bit of a con, but just a petty con. Also, I mentioned in one of my, uh, my Disney cruise ship vacation video that you should take a waterproof bag to hold your phone and your key card because every time you get off the ship, you have to take your key card. Anytime you want a drink, you have to have your key card and you're at the pool all day. So, what I saw a lot of people doing, they didn't have something as big as this. 
they had a little one that was just for your key card and I will link that below if you click on the little upside down triangle that will give you all the links that of things that I'm talking about basically on Amazon <laughs> but anyway it's just a little lanyard for especially for kids but it only is as big as your key card so it's not as bulky or heavy uh, this one is waterproof so if you did need to go to an island and you were gonna be on the beach all day I highly recommend this it's not puffy like one of the ones that I used before the shows on board were fantastic we saw the Beatles perform and they their mannerisms were exactly like the videos we've watched of them very fun top-notch acting top-notch dancing it was not cheesy all the husbands out there it was not cheesy and it wasn't risque um, also they have tons of clubs and bars and um, areas but again it's near the casino so you can smell this lingering of smoke and the casinos were hardly ever filled during the daylight early evening hours that we were walking through maybe they are filled with people in the middle of the night I don't know but in the Mediterranean not a lot of people were there during the day or early evening uh, but the clubs are just gorgeous I couldn't get a picture of all of them but the Cavern Club it was so so pretty so pretty there are probably a jillion lounge chairs around the pool. There are all different levels, so many shaded spots for your lounge chairs and tons of open sun, full sun areas for your lounge chairs. They're nice, they're good sturdy plastic that doesn't get too hot. Um, if it gets wet, it's easy to wipe off the water. The floor of the deck floor of the pool was wet a lot because they spray it off every morning. So when we go to breakfast to this garden cafe, because most people can get what they want there, there's so much water. So if you have a person who's on a cane, just be extra careful. My mom was used a cane and a, a boot on her foot and a wheelchair the whole time we were there and we never had a slipping issue or anything. A very, very clean deck, very pleasing to look at. The hot tubs are like above your head so you feel like if you're in the hot tub you have enough privacy to sit in the hot tub and you can fit like 12 people in there and there were four different hot tubs. The pool area is beautiful and I love that they have two pools one that's three foot deep and has a little deck area for you for the little kids to sit in and, and it's not just one set of stairs for them to get to the three foot level and the pool water is cool and warm so if you're like we had a 70 something degree day and it was freezing because there, it's so windy up there it felt so good in this pool and then the other one is like four foot something deep and that's like almost like a hot tub it was so warm and wonderful <laughs> And the decking is like this aqua color tile. It's just beautiful. And I don't know if you could notice in the picture, but um, in the shady part where the lounge chairs are, there's an upper level. So the people in the back row back there aren't, aren't uh, blocked from people watching on board a cruise ship because you know that is so much fun. They have sofas in completely shaded areas that are that um, that nice wicker type fabric and uh, it's just beautiful a great ping pong table area the ping pong balls cannot fall off the ship and the video arcade which is open to only teenagers sometimes just a couple of times during the seven day cruise it was open to nine to twelve year olds and I really appreciated that they have a five hole putt putt course right there in the pool area but it's completely it's like in a hallway so it's pretty much shaded and sheltered if it's raining or anything and a little splash type pad but it's cement um, even though a map of the ship would have been nice I will say that the signage on the main pool deck was very clear and easy to read the bathrooms there are two women's bathrooms one on one end of the pool decking and one on the at the other end so very convenient for us ladies NCL's Norwegian epic cruise ship holds 4,100 something people and we were totally impressed with how fast their crew could get us off the ship when we went to excursions. All you need is your key card to get off. They have two different lines, unlike the TSA lines that are in most airports that only have one open these days with thousands of people coming through. We thoroughly enjoyed our European cruise on board Norwegian Cruise Line's epic cruise ship. I hope you have a wonderful time and a peaceful time before your cruise now that you've heard my honest review.